Do you want to know how to compost chicken manure? Yes, you clicked on the link. Here you are. Chickens are awesome. Eggs are incredible. And there's a lot of manure that you have to do something with. You can't put it right on your plants. It will burn them. You're going to compost it and turn it into beautiful black gold for your garden. Hi, I'm Amy Landers with GardensThatMatter.com where we help families create beautiful, bountiful gardens together. And we have had backyard chickens for about 10 years. I'm guessing you probably have a few in your backyard, maybe more than a few, and you are getting those eggs. Maybe you're even raising some for meat. You're probably harnessing the amazing chicken powers of scratching and pest control. Maybe you're even feeding them your food scraps and letting them be the first round of composting, right? They're gonna eat the food scraps and then you're going to compost the manure. That's what we do with lots of food scraps at our house. Put some to good use. But how are we going to compost that manure? It is nitrogen rich. It is hot, hot material. And so when we say hot, that means in a situation where we're putting it on the plants, it could burn them because it has so much nitrogen in them. And in a situation where we're composting it, it's going to help heat up our pile. Chicken manure ends up being between 10 and 15 to one. So that means 10 to 15 parts carbon to one part nitrogen, carbon to nitrogen ratio. And to give you an idea, an ideal ratio for composting is 25 to 30 to one. So that means it has more nitrogen than is ideal in our piles. If we made a pile of all chicken manure, well, you can imagine, it would be stinky and gross, slimy. It would just be nasty. We wouldn't want that. So we definitely are going to need some more carbon-rich materials, things like straw or leaves or wood chips or wood shavings that we can use to balance out that nitrogen. Now, when you think about your chickens, there's actually two approaches that you can use for composting their waste. I call them mobile fertilizers and bedding to bin. So let's start with mobile fertilizers. As you might imagine, this involves having mobile chickens. You might use some electric netting and a coop that is easily movable or that's on wheels, and you're moving your chickens around your property. This is great because it's spreading out that fertilizer. And when we do this with our chickens, the patches where they've been are always the brightest green in the pasture or in the lawn that next season because of all that fertilizer. So what you're doing in this case is wherever that coop is you're going to have an accumulation of material and what we like to do is kind of try to strategically place the coop where we would eventually be growing something and so we would use the bedding and the manure where the coop was when we move it off that bedding and manure are going to stay behind we're going to add some more cover material and just let it compost in place kind of like a simple sheet mulch the next year we can plant squashes or tomatoes or something else in that spot. So you can think about using them strategically. You can use them like our friend Justin Rhodes does to create a whole garden bed. He rotates really intensively, puts the chickens on, they eat everything down, manure it, and then he comes in and plants and puts mulch down to help control some of the weeds and he's ready to grow. The chickens have been mobile fertilizers and prepared that plot. So that's one approach to go with, especially if you have room to move them around your property. Now, if you don't have room or just you're not ready to do that yet, you can use the bedding to bin approach. And what you want to do is in your coop, you want to make sure you're using some carbon rich bedding. This is important because if you don't have this, you're going to have a couple things happening. Number one, the chicken manure is going to be accumulating and adding nitrogen in the form of ammonia in the air, in your chicken coop. It's not a healthy place for chickens to be. You would have to make sure you have lots of ventilation and make your coop stinky. And then eventually that chicken manure is gonna dry and it's gonna be really dusty. When you bring the bedding in, it's going to give you layers where you put the bedding down and then they're gonna manure it and then you're gonna put more bedding down and they're gonna manure it and then you're gonna put more bedding down where you're locking in that nitrogen. It's not escaping into the air as much as ammonia. And it's also holding some of the moisture in the manure so that it doesn't completely dry out so that when you are ready to clean out the coop, that material is gonna be easy to start composting. If your chicken manure has gotten really dry, it's gonna take quite a bit of water, quite a bit of watering and mixing it in with other material and watering it some more to get it wet again. So when you do this bedding to bin, your bedding is really setting you up for success when you move to the bin. Now, 
Moving to the bin means you're just gonna clean that coop out, pull out that straw or the wood chips and the manure and just put it into your wheelbarrow or into buckets and you're gonna move it to your compost bin. Your compost bin can be something as simple as a wire bin or a pile or a pallet bin. You can use something more complex if you want to, a whole system. And we've got information about different composting systems over on our website. We'll include a link down below. Now you have a couple of approaches, the mobile fertilizers and the bedding to bin for your chicken manure. How are you going to compost it in your yard? What's going to be the best fit for your system? I really love that you're here learning about this because that means you're thinking about how to incorporate those chickens into your landscape and create yet another resource thanks to these lovely birds that is going to help your garden and your yard grow. Do you have more questions about what you can and can't compost or about composting in general? Well, we've made it easy for you. In the description for this video, you'll find links to our website, gardensthatmatter.com. One of them is going to take you to a spot where you can sign up for the ins and outs of composting. This is a quick reference you can print to make it easy to know what can and can't go in the compost. You can also ask your own question about composting or gardening for me to answer in a future video. Thank you so much for watching today. If you want more garden goodness, be sure to subscribe. And if you know somebody else who's interested in composting, I'd love for you to share this video with them. Until I see you again, happy gardening. Mm -hmm.